we're talking about the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, also commonly referred to by the acronym SOAR or their nickname, the Night Stalkers. Special Operations Command, or JSOC, however, has given them a different name, Task Force Brown. I can't be certain why they call them Task Force Brown, but I'm going to go ahead and assume it's because this is who they call when the poop hits the fan. Sorry, still not allowed to use profanity in the first 30 seconds. I have to settle for amateur fanity until then. Ladies and gentlemen, the 160th is comprised of the best helicopter pilots and crews in the world. Fly anything and everything the American military has to offer. The only people that get to fly the little bird, aka the killer egg, is arguably the scariest helicopter in the entire military, but we'll talk more about that in a different video. Even when these men and women do fly conventional helicopters, they're always way cooler than normal. Look at their version of the airborne El Camino here. First of all, it looks like the fucking Rolling Stones painted it. It's got the big go saw straw hanging off the front for aerial refueling. Yeah, and then it's got a minigun hanging out the side. Why wouldn't Uncle Sam's Magic School Bus be capable of doing flybys? And then you have their Attack Hawk, I mean their Black Hawk, so known as the DAP, the Direct Action Penetrator. Those are missiles and machine guns and shit all over it. Basically, Uncle Sam said I need all the firepower of an Apache, but I still need to be able to haul the grunts to where they need to be so they can fuck shit up too. If you're not picking up what I'm putting down yet, basically the 160th is Death's Uber, okay? The grunts call for a pickup, they show up regardless of what the circumstances circumstances are. Slogan is Night Stalkers don't quit for a reason. Doesn't matter how bleak the situation looks, these men and women are coming to either fix the problem or they're going to become part of the problem themselves. Seriously, do you know how gangster you gotta be for the United States Army to be like, yeah, you can have a horse cock and a lightsaber on your unit insignia, why not? Really though, that does bring up the question, why do they call them the Night Stalkers? Well, the generic textbook answer is because most of their missions are conducted at high speeds and low altitudes on short notice at night. Full stop. Night. Look, if you don't know, I'm gonna learn you something. Night vision goggles are nothing like they are in the movies. They're nowhere near as intuitive as Hollywood makes them appear. Realize you're trying to navigate a 3D world with a 2D screen that's held right up against your eyeball. Absolutely no depth perception. Simply being able to walk around in an open field and not trip over nothing is an acquired skill with night vision goggles. Being able to go at the speed of mock Jesus at low altitude in a helicopter with nothing but nods is a fucking superpower. Really, because those men and women work their ass off to be that good. The average Night Stalker pilot has more hours logged with night vision goggles on than the average commercial pilot. Oh, and if you've never flown in a helicopter at low altitude, it's kind of like going on a roller coaster because the helicopter goes up and down with the landscape. Male audience that doesn't know, you know the feeling you get on a roller coaster at the free fall where it like tingles in your nuts? Yeah, it's like that the whole time. Can't even imagine what it must be like to do that in the dark. You know what? Yes, I can. It's a lot like camping with your girlfriend when you're in college. Fucking intense. Conclusion, if you ever see a bunch of black SUVs roll up, you should probably run. See a bunch of black helicopters roll up, I mean, you're already gonna die. There's no reason to be out of breath about it. For watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Best way to support the content is to go get yourself a shirt or a hoodie or some stickers or something. All that and my other links are available at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out.